We've seen renders, we've seen pictures, and we've seen spy shots, but this is Tesla's Model X SUV. So we're gonna go take it for a test drive. Our time in the Model X was pretty short, so we're not gonna do a full review here. But after just a few minutes in this car, I left wanting one. The Model X doesn't really feel like most SUVs I've driven. In fact, it feels a whole lot like driving the Model S. It responds like a car about half its size, and with a zero to 60 time of 3.2 seconds on the fastest model, you just give it the lightest tap of the gas and you're off. If you throw it in ludicrous mode and stomp on the gas pedal, it feels like your brain is about to come out of your ears, but like, in a good way. The in-dash display is roughly the same as that found on the Model S, with things like a built-in browser and a rear view camera coming stock. They've made a few small spec upgrades to make the display look nicer, and they've tweaked some things to account for stuff like opening and closing the automatic Falcon Wing door. Speaking of those Falcon Wing doors, they are pretty damn cool. They have built-in sonic sensors to detect objects they might hit, and they'll automatically adjust the way they open accordingly. The interior is super comfy, and the center console has proper enclosed storage instead of that weird open trench thing found on the Model S. There's even a nifty built-in dock that you can stuff your phone into without even really looking, so you know you can keep your eyes on the road. There's a massive windshield they call the panoramic windshield, and it's just fantastic. You can see absolutely everything around and above you, and it's something you really just have to experience for yourself. I looked up at the sky and I felt like friggin' Aladdin on a magic carpet ride. At around $130,000, this car is well outside of a reasonable price range for most, but if you're already considering a Model X, I'd give that decision my stamp of approval. Just, you know, let me borrow it sometimes.